What a nice caller. Nice, nice guy. Hello there. This is uh, Richard Burnish. You're live on the Jesus chat line. How are you doing today? Fine, Richard. How are you doing? I'm doing good. I'm doing excellent. Thank you. Did you have a question? Yeah, actually, I have a few questions. Certainly. Uh, my first question is, is Jesus God or the Son of God? Jesus is God's Son. So he's not, he's not God? He is not God. No, he is not. <laughs> and the Holy Spirit, is he God? The Holy Spirit is God, yes. So there's two gods? There is one God. There is only one God, actually. And that is God, the, the Holy Spirit. So the Father isn't God? Yes. So You're the Father it. isn't God and the Son isn't God? Yes. And the Holy Spirit is God? Yes. You're, you, know, you, I, you understand it, yes. So who, what, what's, who's the Father? God. You just said He isn't God. He is God. No, you just said the Father wasn't God, the Son wasn't God, the Holy Spirit was God. <laughs> no, I did not. No, he is, he, is, yeah, he is God. Yes, He is. Yeah. Richard, Richard, listen, I'm, I'm sort of a Bible scholar, if you will. Okay? And uh, yes. you, can't you can't play games with me. You are not making any sense right now. Well, that is a matter of opinion. I feel uh, I'm, I'm making a, a lot of sense, sir. Look, I don't, I mean, how can you ask somebody to become a Christian if, you, I mean, you can't even tell me who God is. God is, is God is God. He's in the yeah, Bible. But, He's God. No, look, Christians tell me God is one, but at the same time, He's three. God I, 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 I'm not sure I fully understand your question. You, you, you sound kind of confused. Yeah, I am confused, Richard. I really okay. am confused. Okay, and look, I'm here to help. Because, That's look, why I'm here. Because, okay, look, we have, we have the Father, we have the Son, and we got the Holy Ghost, right? The Holy Trinity, yes. The Trinity. Now, this, this, this you know, all-star team here, the three, do they equal one, or does one equal three? They all, they, are, they all equal one. That a, a trinity is the group of three. One group of three. Okay, look. When, when Jesus died, Jesus died on the cross, right? Yes, he did. Now, when he died, who was running the show? Well, God has always been running the show since the beginning. It's always been God running the show. But a bunch of Jews killed God on the cross, according to you. A bunch of Jews? I don't... I don't well, um, that's, 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 okay. So but basically, basically, Richard, a bunch of Jews are stronger than your God. I don't agree with that. That, that is not, that is, that, that nowhere in the Bible does it say that. Well, you, you guys, you know, Christians like to preach how Jesus was hung and brutally murdered and tortured on a cross by a, a bunch of big-nosed Jews. He was, he died for your sins. He died for my sins? Yes, he did. Did he die for those Jews' sins that killed him? Yes, he did. So those Jews that killed him essentially are going to heaven. Those Jews are, yes. Oh, so everybody's going to heaven? No, 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 they're not. But I thought Jesus died for my sins. He did, yes, he did. But if you live your life according to his teachings, you will also go to heaven. But does Jesus love everybody? No, he doesn't. He doesn't? No. Wow, that's actually pretty brave of you to say that. Yeah, it really, and that's, and just think of how lucky you are to have the Bible to, 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 as a map, as, as your North Star. Well, actually, I'm not, you know, I'm not lucky to read the Bible. I mean, if we actually, do you have a Bible handy with you, uh, Richard? No, I do not have a Bible on me. Well, let me refresh your memory. If we look in Exodus 21:15, uh, it says, "Whoever strikes his father or mother shall be put to death." Yes. Does that sound fantastic to you, John? Richard, Dick, uh, Richard? That does sound great to me. Yes, it does. So if I hit my mom, yes, 
I should be put to death. If that's what it says in the Bible, then yes. Yeah, but... See, you, you have to follow wait, these... Wait, wait, wait. Have, okay, have, go ahead. Your, your, sorry, your, sorry. your mind is full of questions and, and, and a lot of confused... It, it confused thoughts, it appears, but if that's basically yes, that is if that is in the Bible, that is that is how it is. Okay, let's 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 talk about the Bible. Let's talk about the Bible. Great, I I would love to. I would love to talk about the Bible. Now, Jesus didn't write the Bible. No, Jesus did not write the Bible. No, he did not. Who wrote the Bible? His disciples wrote the Bible. Wrong. Paul, Luke, Peter. And the other guy, I can't remember his name. What was it? That that is not correct. That is that is incorrect information. So who's Paul, Luke, uh, Peter, and the other guy? I believe you may be referring to the musical John. group Peter, John. Paul, and Mary. No, no, I'm referring to John, uh, Peter, Michael, and the other fourth guy. I can't remember all their names. Jean Vieve. Richard, Richard, I'm being serious here. We got Mike, uh, Peter. Yes. Uh, the, the four guys, come on. I, 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 I don't. Okay. That is, that is, that, that I, I don't agree listen, with you. Listen, I, I don't listen, know what you would like me to John, say. We have Luke, we have Peter, and we have uh, Matthew. <gasps> Matthew. Okay. Yes. Let's take these four uh, guys. Did they write? Did they write their Bibles? Yes, they did. Now, who were they? They were Jesus' disciples. No, they were not. God. They never seen Jesus before in their lives. They they traveled around with Jesus. Wrong. They were ye hundreds of years after Jesus. Well, they, not according to the Bible, no. Well, according to the Bible, you know what? I have I have another point to bring up. You know, points are just coming in my brain. It's just wow, this is amazing. That's great. That's really great. Now you say Jesus is God, right? Jesus is, yes. Well, how come Jesus in the Bible, when they called him good, he said, do not call me good. Nobody's good except God. Yes, that, that is, that, that, that's correct. So he very distinctively made a distinction between him and God, right or wrong? <laughs> yeah, he really, he did. He, you're, you're absolutely right. He did. Go ahead, caller. Oh, I think we lost the call. Good evening, caller. Yeah, can you hear me? I can hear you. Can you hear me? Yeah, I was cut off earlier. I was debating Richard. Oh, is that right? I, were you cut off or what? Or... I don't know. I, I, don't I know think exactly you were why. given plenty of time to speak, sir. I think perhaps he just wanted to move on to, to give someone else a chance. But I apologize. Go no, ahead. You see, I want answers, and you weren't giving me answers. You what understand? kind of let's, answers let's, would let's, you like? Let's, let's start with the first question. Okay? Can we start with the first question? Can you hear me? Can you still hear me? Yellow. Yellow. I, we're having a bit of difficulty. I, although I do think we've managed to, on our end, I think our mic is sounding much, much better tonight. Um, but we're having a bit of difficulty with our incoming calls. Let's try this again. Hello, you're live on the air with Richard Burnish. This is the Jesus Chat Line. How are you doing today? Good. Great. Did you have a question, caller? Yes. Um, what do you think about uh, the Muslims? Do what do I think about the Muslims? Yes. Oh, I really do not think a whole lot, to be perfectly honest. Most of them are sinners, and most of them are troubled people. Hello, you're live on the air with uh, Richard Burnish. This is the Jesus Chat Line. How are you? Um, how are you doing today? Yeah, Richard, I'm doing fantastic. You, we had seemed to be disconnected last time. Uh, oh yes, we were having a discussion before. Yes, yeah, sorry about that. Um, yes, l did you did you have another question? Well, you never answered any of my questions. Well, then let's 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 get to that. Let's go one by one, shall we? Okay. Well, um, we'll try and have enough time for everybody, but I'll I'll do my best to answer a few of your questions. 
Fantastic, fantastic. Okay. My first question is, Jesus says in Mark 12, 29, Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is one Lord. Please explain that verse for me. I, 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 it's, please explain it. Jesus is saying the Lord, our God, is one Lord. He's saying our God. That means Israel, the, the children. I do. The point I'm trying to make, Richard, well, you know what, let's bring a couple more verses so I can make my point a little bit more clear. Yeah, I think that would help. Uh, in John 20, 17, Jesus says, I ascend to my God and your God. That was John 20, 16. Okay, 16, fantastic. He's saying, I ascend to my God and your God. This tells us that we and Jesus have a common God. Yes. In, in, in John 8, 28, Jesus said, I do nothing of myself. Can't God do anything he wants? God can, do, God can do anything He wants. Yes, He can. Well, how come Jesus in your own Bible differentiates between Himself and God? Perhaps the Bible that you have been reading is, is, has a grammatical error. There's, what's the grammatical error when Jesus says, Our Lord well, it, is It your seems Lord. to me that you were implying that God or Jesus may uh, uh, speak about themselves in third person or have some sort of uh, a problem with differentiating uh, themselves from one another. Or, or I don't, if I fully understand what you're trying to say. Well, that's, that's another point. You just said maybe the Bible you have is diff has a grammatical error. If it was from God, there would only be one Bible. Well, no perhaps, perhaps the Bible that you have purchased was... Uh, you know, uh, 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 one of the watered-down Bibles that are out there. And, um, and that is part of the reason that w we sell our own uh, Bible, the Richard Burnish Neon Bible, um, which is free well, of, these, of, of, of this, this, this confusion. It, it brings levity and clarity. Well, Richard, there is a, the newest book in town, okay? It's newer than the Bible. It's called the Holy Quran. You understand? Yes. This book is the last revelation from God. Okay? It has no mistakes. If you read it, you will know who Jesus really was. Okay, well, Just, thank Which you. is a, a prophet of God. He wasn't God, nor the Son of God, nor the third of three, the one... No, it all makes sense. One God, prophets. Okay. Uh, thank you. Thank you for that. that. That was a great piece of information. Well, I'm doing my best to screen the calls. But let me give you an example of what happens. I'll pick up a call and I'll say, Hi, this is Stephen. I am your screener. Um, momentarily, I will be turning your call over to Richard Burnish. First, I would just like to know what it is you'll be speaking about. And I'll get a line like, Well, sir, my parents are getting a divorce and I have... Um, I'm very distraught. I'd like some answers. And I say, okay. And I turn it over to Richard. And the next thing you know, they're asking him, you know, what have you? So I, please, I, I sir. I understand that. I, I completely understand so, that. So what is I'm your solution then for me to screen such a call? You're right. You can't screen those because you don't know what the intentions are. Only God knows what the intentions are. Well, that's a very good you know? point. Uh, but just, you know, before I hang up, I have another point. Uh, I see the cross on the screen. Mm -hmm. uh, you guys wear the cross because Jesus was hung on the cross, right? Uh, yes. So if Jesus was uh, put to death in an electrical chair, would you wear an electrical chair around your neck? 